Hi everybody, it's Mindy and welcome to my channel and I have something exciting to show you today. It is a Diamond Art Club. It is a sneak peek. It is a special release. So this painting will be released on May 4th. It's one of those midweek rolls and it's special, you guys. It's a special thing. I'm going to show it to you, all right? So I think the time is noon, but don't quote me. They weren't exactly positive yet because I'm recording this quite early because, you know, I'm leaving on vacation. So anyhow, um, I happen to have a Gemini painting. I am a Gemini and I have Gemini and the artist is Roy Trin. Now Roy Trin is fairly new to Diamond Art Club. Um, from what I could find, he has one painting with them currently. Um, if there's more, I couldn't find them or maybe they were limited edition, sold out. I don't know. I could find one that was Persephone, but um, yeah, these are pretty cool. He has a whole series of these Zodiacs. Um, you might be seeing more. We'll find out. <laughs> but anyhow, um, it's what I have to show you this week. So uh, May 4th, be ready. Be ready if you are into your Zodiacs and you want to collect yours. All right. So this is what comes in our kit. We have the little logbook sticker and it has the picture and the size and the artist's name on it. And then we have a toolkit. We'll talk about the toolkit next. New toolkit. Um, most of the kits I have gotten lately have the new toolkit. So I think they're becoming more popular, more standard, not popular. They're popular, but more standard in the kits. Um, they did have the original kits. They were, um, you know, needed to use up and the newer ones have been phasing in over time. So here we go. What is in a new toolkit? Well, let's show you what's in here. You can probably see a lot of it right now, right? <laughs> so we have the tray. Now I have seen a couple versions of this tray. This one is clear. This is very clear. Um, there's another version of this, which is a little more cloudy, a little more opaque color, but this one's a clear one and they have gold sparkles in there and it comes with a stopper. So you can put your stopper in here and Keep your drills from flying around, all right? So we have that. It comes with two multi-placers, right? Two of them, um, a seven and a four-placer. These are the white thin ones, my favorites. Love those, all right? You'll get a pen, which is sparkly, and you'll get the comfort grip. Mine typically match the pen. They're easier to put in this way. The pen and the squishy match in color usually. Okay, I said it was easy. Sure, here we go. <laughs> it goes on there, really, it does. <laughs> um, so we have that. We have a bag of baggies, if you like the baggies. We have tweezers. This one has um, the one comfort, not the comfort grip. Come on, I'm trying to get things done here and my brain's not working. Um, the protective cover for your sharp pointed tweezers. Sharp, sharp pointed tweezers. The pink ombre, they say Diamond Art Club on them. Keep that on there, they're very sharp. Then their wax comes in this cute little caddy now. It still has the plastic on it. You'll have to take the plastic off your wax. Don't forget to do that. But it keeps it neat and clean, keeps it from drying out, things like that. I like that, that's a great addition, love that. And then the fun little goodies they've been putting in are washi tape, love that washi tape. What do you think about that? If you could focus, they could see it better, right? There we go. Floral, very pretty. I love it. So there's a washi tape in each one now and a cover minder. And here's their pretty cover minder. This is like bumpy. You can feel the texture on it. Like that one's really sticking up. Pretty, pretty gold cover minder. This keeps your plastic paper back. If you, you know, are diamond painting, you don't want it flopping in your work, pull your plastic back, put this on top, magnet on the bottom, and it'll hold it in place for you. So that is a new tool kit. They're very nice. Um, let's get into the canvas. If you want to see this, I know, I know you do. We're going to have to zoom out again. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we will. I think it goes this direction. Yeah. All right. So Diamond Art Club has a very nice, soft backed canvas. It's called tarpaulin. They have 
the scalloped edges, which helps to keep it from fraying and they poke the little holes in there. So I've never really had trouble with a Diamond Art Club fraying. They're poured glue, which is super nice to have and it makes them lay down nice and flat. <clears throat> We're gonna just help it out a little bit. I think we'll roll it backwards so that it will lay flat for us like right now. It only takes a couple of minutes really and they're nice and flat, but I mean, you don't want to just hang out for two minutes, do you, while it flattens? <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay. Um, he has beautiful artwork. Okay, this I did not expect. From the picture I got of it, I did not expect this. I mean, even if you look at this, look at the background. Doesn't the background look gray? It is not. It's not going to be gray at all. Look at the color. Look what we have. Look at all of that pink. This whole background is going to be pink. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that at all. That's a surprise. So see, this is why we do these sneak peeks, right? Because I had a total different uh, thought in mind about what these colors were going to be. We'll look at the sticker sheet in a minute. But here is your information sheet. It has tips and tricks and directions and codes. If you have never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, I have a code you can use. It's 10 off Mindy. It will save you $10 off your first purchase. After that, find your code here to save you some money on your canvas in a packing box. There's one on the packing slip. And then the VIP group has a code as well. So you can always save a little bit of money at Diamond Art Club. Then start collecting points because points will save you money on your paintings as well. All right, let's look at this. Okay, this is going to be much different than I had anticipated. Gemini, that's me, except, you know, my family will tell you I'm not really a true Gemini. <laughs> I am the least Gemini, Gemini you probably will ever meet. <laughs> Um, the artist is Roy Trin. There's a start and end date you can write on, on your paper here. Um, the shape is square. Now, I have read that a lot of the kits coming out for a while are going to be square because they are making their own drills now. Um, they have done a nice job of perfecting the square drills. My last kit I just did had perfect square drills. When I say it had no trash, I mean it had hardly any trash at all. Um, so they're working on the round drills. They're not quite happy with their production of their round drills. So they aren't producing as many round paintings, round drill paintings right now until they get those drills the way they want. So you'll see quite a few squares for a while till they get the round drills the way they would like. But look at her. I mean, look at her. She reminds me of like, if you're in theater, like the drama faces, or a little Phantom of the Opera-ish, you know what I mean? So they all have like these witch hats on. So they're all like witches and they're, they're pretty cute. So the labels over here for our symbols, we can put on our jars. These are all individually cut and will peel right off. Put them on your containers to kit up. There are 37 colors and those are your symbols, pretty normal, typical symbols. And with Diamond Art Club, anything under 150 is an AB. So this has four ABs. It has 141, which is white. 131 is a yellow or orangey color. 129, I don't know, maybe a pale yellow. 127 looks to be pink, and that would be fitting with all of the pink background. I really had no idea it was gonna be this pink, you guys. All right, let's get into it and look at it. All right, it's been laying here rolled up, so I think we're ready. Do you see how sparkly the canvas is? It's got sparkles in it. It's so nice. They have such a nice canvas. Wow, you guys, this is very interesting. Now I am gonna have to zoom you out. Okay, let's zoom out so you can see the whole thing. All right, here we go, zoom. There she is. Look how cute, right? Look how cute. She's adorable, right? Um, she's got like this cape on or a capelet. Um, and her witch hat, and then she's just got this like palm leaves for her background, but wow, this whole background is going to be pink. And the words, it just says the Gemini. <laughs> she is the Gemini. Now look, she has her little Gemini symbol on her forehead right there. Can you see that? Let's see. 
the Gemini symbol right there on her forehead. Neat. Wow. So everything is outlined probably in black. See all of the uh, dots? I think all of that will be probably black. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's outlined in something else. No, it's not going to be black. Oh, yes, it is. 310 black. There it is, the dot. So that'll be all outlined for you. So everything will stand out and be defined. I love it. There's a legend on both sides. All your symbols makes it easy. So if you turn your canvas around or you turn it upside down like I do, you'll have a legend on both sides wherever you're working. All of their social media is at the bottom here. Their Facebook, their Instagram, there's that code. And here is the information on the painting. Love it. The licensing, it's a 51 by 71, which is 20 inches by 28 inches. Very nice. They have the best glue. Their glue is it's the perfect amount of stick yet slide, if you know what I mean. You can move your drills around on it, but they will stick. I love the glue. It's great glue. I love it. Wow. That is nifty. Wow. Our ABs are going to be one, two, three, and four on the canvas. Number one, two, three, and four. We, we need to find the, what those colors are. What, I see a lot of purples too. I see several purple players in here as well. Oh my goodness. I did not expect these colors. I really didn't. I thought they were going to be like, you know, taupe and gray kind of more muted, but this is going to be lovely. Wow. They do have the name of the kit right there on the package. Some people separate their paintings from their drills. So that is helpful. I never do. I keep mine right together in the box. Okay, so first of all, let's just pull out all of this. I mean, for real, right? That's your pink. All right. How many bags do you think that is? <laughs> it is a 963. Let's zoom in and look at these colors. 963. And there are one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I dare say I've never had a painting with more than 14 bags of one color. Have you? <laughs> That's a lot of pink. And it's a beautiful pink. It's a gorgeous pink. Okay, so then we have some rusty tones and brown tones. I mean, her hair is an auburn color. Hmm. Guess who else's hair is auburn? Mine. <laughs> Anyhow, there's another pink, 818. Here's some of those purples, a little bit of purple, 550 and 3837, and a peach color. I'm loving this, these colors, wow. All right, next strip, what do we have? 154 purple, that is a beautiful deep, deep purple, love it. And we have like some orangey rust colors. 141 is our first AB. That's the white. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Uh, they put an iridescent coating on the drills. They shimmer, they shine, and look, it's picking up purple and pink in there. You guys, of course, it's going to pick up pink. And it will do that. It will pick up the colors of the drills that it is placed next to and sparkles on your canvas. My favorite time to look at a painting with ABs is like dim light, but a little light. And the ABs will just twinkle. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Another tan rust color, a burgundy. That's almost getting to coral. Oh, it is a peach color. That is our next AB. It's peach. That's pretty. 127 is a peach AB. Look, it matches 819 kind of, doesn't it? They look very similar, except this one has the AB coating and this one does not. Look, I think they're the same color. One's AB, one's not. Mm -hmm. 815 is another rust. 209 purple. What do you call this color? A peachy, pe oh, peachy tan color. Another pink, a darker pink. Here's another AB. It is orange. A tan brown color, pink. And there's the other AB, which is yellow. Very pretty, like buttery yellow color. I love that, that's pretty. Another pink, kind of a yellow. 
creamy yellow. Oh, and these are big bags. That was all the little bags right there. Okay, so we have a big bag of 3371, a big bag of 336, which is a pretty blue. Love that. Okay, that's going to be in the leaves. That's for sure the leaves, right? And one, two, three bags of black for all that outlining we're going to do. Um, 901, a tan brown color. We got a couple more. More leaf colors, I bet. I'll show you what I mean. Well, here's a brown again, 400. But look at that is more of the leaves, the palm leaves, for sure. Rusty burgundy color. Another pink, a uh, pink, purple. <laughs> and another teal color. How pretty. That really is a gorgeous, gorgeous look. I mean, I thought it was going to be just a lot of tan or taupe. And it's really, really not at all. Look at it when you lay it out there. I mean, I just can't help but do this because I'm really surprised. The picture did it like no justice at all as far as colors, you guys. Wow, that's gorgeous, isn't it? It's going to be so pretty. All right, let's find out where the ABs are. Like I said, they are one, two, three, and four. The fours are white. Let's zoom you in so we can get close and personal. Uh, are we zoomed in? We might be zoomed in. Yeah, we're zoomed in. Hello. We were zoomed in for the drills. <laughs> All right. So the fours are the white. And they're kind of through here. They're making these lines, as you can tell. And there's some more that come through here, through here, um, and this way. That's where I see the white. There are some in her face. It's like she's wearing a mask over here. And that gets a lot of the white AB here around this eye. And there are some in this eye. So that's the fours. The three is the symbol, the Gemini symbol. So that will be the yellow. Am I correct? That's yellow. Nope, that's orange. That's orange. Um, and then there's some oranges like thrown in. I don't know if these are little stars, but there's some in this one, this one over here. There are twos, these are her buttons. So there are twos, which is the yellow in the buttons. There's some over here. And then the orange is over here again. They're just like little star looking shapes, you know? But then she has this here. There's threes, which are the orange. And then there's some twos in her tassel, right here in her tassel tassel for her hat. I'm thinking that's about it. Yeah. And then down here, there's some of the orange down in the little star. So they appear to be little star shapes. And those get some ABs. Her buttons get ABs. And then whatever, she has something dangling here. Like, oh, it's her eyepiece. It's like the chain from her eyepiece. It's a beaded chain for her is that a monocle um and that must have beads and it has some of the ab there that's what that's about okay then you get a little shimmer in her tassel and then of course this white for the like mask on her face she's adorable isn't she let me zoom you out so you can get one more good look at her what do you think what do you think it will be so pretty with that pink background have fun multi-placing. There's going to be a lot of opportunity to multi-place, right? <laughs> yep. So this is, I mean, there's not a ton of confetti in this one. This will be pretty easy and quick to do because you can multi-place in a lot of these areas. She's cute, right? All right. Let me know what you think. Um, remember, she'll be coming out Wednesday. Wednesday. Be ready. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about her. Okay. Um, hope to see you soon. Um, come back and see more videos in the future. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending it for me to show everybody. I hope you all have a great day. And I will talk to everybody soon. Bye, you guys.